What up, what up, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, and boys, welcome back to another Madden 15 online gameplay. Now, uh, if anybody's wondering, you know, these games are against subscribers that we're throwing up. Um, I am going to be getting into ranked matches, back like online ranked matches. I say give me like Monday, Tuesday, um, we're going to go ahead and stock up and play some games for you guys. Um, you know, if anybody's wondering where those are, don't worry, we are definitely getting those. Those aren't going anywhere. Uh, so we got the Rams going up against the Falcons today and uh, definitely turns out to be, uh, you know, good game. Now, I have played this subscriber before and uh, he has given me a, you know, pretty uh, tough uh, game. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can go on ahead and uh, have ourselves a, a nice, easy game. But right there, I don't even know how he's seen him. I don't. I, I, I don't know. Maybe he has like a hundred inch TV and like I couldn't see him on my little TV. I couldn't see him. I don't, I don't know how he's seen him. Right here he goes deep up top and again he's just finding guys wide open. It's like oh man this could be a long game. He is just moving the ball pretty well against us so far. And they're like come on we got to stop him man. We got to stop him. Right here they end up going to is that your quiz right there scoring a touchdown 7-0 and that's like okay 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 here we go here we go we got this we got this we got this we're good we got um we got um we got Stacy. We got Stacy. Now, actually, Stacy is a good running back. Somebody who falls forward a lot. Uh, I definitely had fun using him last year uh, with a few times I was able to play with the Rams. So, right here, man, we decided to go to the counter. And, ah, man, definitely bad read by me. I should have went more towards, you know, uh, the 3 o'clock angle instead of trying to go all the way around. Uh, right here, man, we back up first and 10. Really quick pass to Cunningham with the flag, which we uh, end up accepting and getting uh, first down. I believe it was face mask. So, uh, right here, another handoff again, trying to keep the ball on the ground. It's like, get out the way. Oh, that pancake. No, never mind. No, hey, listen. If you're going to sprinkle some syrup on somebody's chest and flapjack them, I'm cool with that. Go ahead and flapjack them, baby. Sometimes you just got to flapjack them, brother. I feel you, my man. I feel you. Get your flapjack on, man. Get your flapjack on. You know, I ain't going to say nothing. Right here, really quick outside pass to Britt. So, both of us had to have one possession each. Both of us have had. Not too good defense where, you know, we both given up, uh, you know, pretty, uh, you know, horrible drive. Both of us defensively were offensively for the both of us. We've been able to do what we want to do. So um, we're just trying to make adjustments on defense. We got stuck on a D-lineman. That's so frustrating, man. There it is, one of the most frustrating things. But he's four for four, man. He's making good reads right here. We send a little bit of pressure. Finally, we get him to complete an incomplete pass, right? Uh, he decides, look, he wasn't going to go to the screen, but he kind of saw us in the area, and he ends up just taking a sack. So that helps us out. And third and 22, he just goes underneath really shortly to Jones. And that right there is a big stop because on fourth and 15, we provide ourselves a defensive stand. And now we have an opportunity to take the lead for the first time in the game. Not to mention, we do get ball at halftime. So this right here could definitely be a big score if we're able to get a touchdown on the board. Right here, we roll out. We're looking with Bradford to see if we get anybody. And unfortunately, we don't. And I think we get like a yard or two at the most. All right, really quick outside pass over there towards the left. We end up hitting, I believe it was uh, Bailey, was it? Uh, right there, just bad, bad throw and read by me. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Uh, and right there, we finally find a good throw over the middle of the Bailey. And we definitely are in field goal range with Legotron. That's all I want to do with this run right here. Just secure easier field goal range. And that's exactly what we do. We end up settling for field goal. Going into halftime up 10-7. to 7. And right here at this point with ball, it's like, okay, if we score a touchdown here, we are looking great. We did what we needed to do the last possession, which was at minimum get in field goal range. The touchdown would have been better, but hey, I'll take what I can get. I'm not greedy. I'm not greedy. It scores a score. Especially when you go into halftime when you're receiving ball. If you get the lead, that's what's up. So uh, right here, we drop back and just really quick throw to Stacy, and we just pick up the first down. So right now, you know, we're trying to, you know, uh, do what we do on the ground, man, which makes it easier for us when we decide to pass the ball. And uh, right now, we're doing pretty solid on the ground. You know, not, you know, amazingly great, but pretty solid. Right here, we end up dropping back. And look at the beautiful throw right there. I believe, is that Bradford I got in? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, right here, really quick screenplay to cutting game. And he's got an empty seat, man. Oh, oh why you got to be ahead of me, man? Tackles me inside the five. We was about to go to the screenplay, but we get sackety sack sack right there. And right here, we hit the outside with Stacey. And whoop. Double juke to about the 11-yard line. We only get a couple of yards right there. This is a very big play. We end up going to Britt. Unfortunately, he stops us short of anything near the end zone so we settle for a field goal right 13 to 7 it's like you know let's play smart let's go for the field goal if he does score you know a field goal can uh you know give us the lead again and uh hopefully you know he doesn't do a good job of time management make this the last possession and score with little time left because that would be extremely frustrating so 
Right now, if he does score, hopefully we just have enough time to go on ahead and uh, retaliate. After that huge sack and that short underneath route, it's third and 21. He rolls out right here. He's looking for somebody, and he throws, and he finds somebody open. He's doing a very good job of avoiding pressure and, you know, just finding guys open downfield for big chunks of yards, man. That right there is definitely a very frustrating thing when you feel like, you know, you, you get yourself a big sack. And like, yes, you know, it should be difficult for him to get the first down, and then he's just continuously rolling out finding guys open as he does uh well he was open right there but he just made a bad throw second and 10 right here again rolling around the pocket finds a uh finding julio jones underneath he's just doing an excellent job of you know moving the ball everywhere on the field underneath really short you know he's doing a very good job of mixing in his routes so i don't even know what to look for at this point uh right there we almost had a pressure um a covered sack but unfortunately we don't have anything right there he kind of hit me right in the back of the helmet and uh, right here, man, hey, listen, three-man B-gap never hurt nobody, right? So uh, right here, 7 to 13, and we almost throw an interception right there. That right there was such a bad throw. All we really need is just a couple first downs to be able to win the game. He does have all of his timeouts, so uh, we're not out of the clear yet. So we kill some clock right here, side to run the ball, and at this point, there's pretty much nothing he can do. Uh, you know, he can waste his timeouts, but, you know, we're just going to take some knees, and that's exactly what happened. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Love each and every single guys. Again, remember, 9 o'clock is my 91 in-depth review. Well, my I, I, I should say my in-depth review of 91 overall Cam Chancellor. Hopefully you guys can check that out and give me some feedback. I would greatly appreciate it. And we're out.